The giant Ybor City fountain is back on again. The water is flowing, and so is your money. Now, the city of Tampa emptied that football field-sized fountain last year after it became a huge money drain and then considered other uses for it. Now they're back to the original plan. And tonight, Mark is on it because you paid for it. So why do you think they're opening and restoring the fountain now, Mark? Stacy, uh, Tampa's water director, tells me his staff, even after months of study, simply couldn't come up with a better solution to that. Meanwhile, the fountain was deteriorating from dirt, debris, and lack of use, so the city turned the water back on. The freshly filled Ybor City fountain is now the color of money. How appropriate, considering it cost $1.3 million to build it and thousands a month to run it. It's uh, operating again. It looks great at night. Ten years ago, the DOT built this football field-sized fountain in a crumbling corner of Ybor City between two interstate overpasses, a splash of beauty amid the blight. We had this space that we, we had to do something with, and uh, so why not make it as beautiful as we can while we're doing that? But there was a catch. The city had to keep it going. Well, we're contracted, obligated to, to, for in perpetuity to run that fountain. And that started getting expensive. By last year, Tampa was spending 5000 a month of your city tax dollars to clean out the trash, maintain the pumps, and keep the water clean. Tampa's water director decided to shut it down to save money. But the fountain started to decay, and residents called it an eyesore. It's like paying for a dead horse or something you can't use. After months of head scratching and even talk of turning it into a parking lot or a planter, those things don't just didn't pan out. Tampa decided last month to refill the fountain to fend off further damage. So it made more sense to put it back online. This time around, city workers will maintain it instead of private contractors. Yeah, we can bring the cost down to maybe, you know, three, three and a half thousand a month. Still not cheap for an obscure fountain hardly anyone gets to see. But worth a gander if you're in the neighborhood or heading for the I-4 ramp. After all, you paid for it. We're going to do what we can to keep it uh, maintained and operating. Chuck Webb tells me it's too soon to say how much it's going to cost to keep that fountain running since the city only refilled it about a month ago, but as you just heard, it's going to be thousands. Meanwhile, it looks like they're still trying to get that water chemistry worked out. Yeah, that it's green. green. Water. I'm not sure it's supposed it to be like, that color. Yeah, like the river on St. <laughs> Patty's Day, right? Yeah. So it's in a, so a very obscure location. Whose idea was that in the first place? Well, the DOT tells me they wanted to put a pond there as part of their I-4 project, but uh, former Mayor Dick Rucco insisted on a fountain, and eventually he got his way and we're there still paying go. for that. I hope he's watching tonight. Maybe he'll cough up some money for it. Pond would have been cheaper, right? <laughs> it sure would. All right. Thanks, Mark.